What is going on to all of my beautiful subscribers? I hope all 42 of you are having a blessed morning. Um, so basically, I was just thinking about how I've been thrifting way too much and need to stop accumulating stuff until Pablo hit my phone this morning and said, I'm at Salvation Army, come through. So I'm gonna go meet up with him. I got some packages I gotta drop off at the post office and it should be a nice day for some thrifting. So let's see what today holds in store. <laughs> Look who I found, and look what I found. They're like Redskins shoes, but they're all beat. Yeah, they're coming apart. Damn, look at these right off the bat. Not one, not two, but three Fire Vintage Windbreakers. Unfortunately, they're taxing a little bit on 10 bucks each, but these are still sick. Vintage Steelers crew neck, size large, for $6.29. I might just have to grab this, even for 10. Oh my goodness. AC Milan. There's no one on the back. Is it legit? Check the tag. Yeah. Only eight bucks on the very fake looking Kirk Cousins jersey. Yo, so Pablo says 10 likes on this video and we'll do a pretending to work at the Homeland Security Department prank. We got a vintage John Deere hat. I know some of these are kind of valuable, so we're definitely going to look this one up. Also, you guys see that hat? Springfield National Cemetery is a weird thing to put on a hat. So if this thing is actually vintage, this could be the find of the day already. The tag is K-Products. It's made in the USA, so it's definitely an older one. And there are some selling for 80 to 100 to 150 bucks on eBay. So, time to do more research. Bag secured. Huh? Bag secured. Um, we ended up copping two items. I got that vintage windbreaker and then Pablo scooped that John Deere hat. That is an item we're going to have to do more research on because some of them I know sell for well over $100. But it's only if it's like the right year and the right print. So we're going to do some research on that and we'll catch you at the next one. Second little stop of the day. The value village. Some Jordan 12s but I can't tell if these are fake or not. So I don't know. There's no insole either in the 13. Some pretty beat Kobe's. Some pretty beat up KD's. Some, oh, these are actually kind of nice, these red Puma shoes. Um, some Air Max 90's, but they're also kind of beat. A pair of Jordan 3 Sport Blues for only 9.49 and 25% off. Pretty beat up, but you could still sell these as beaters for like 30 bucks. All right, two more Jordans. We got a pair of True Blues right here. And then the Jordan 10 Chicago's. Some little kids Jordan 1's, a pair of kids Motorsport 4's, and I don't even know what these are, but size 9, they're actually not that dirty. Some more KD's, and then a pair of these Jordan 6's, these are also a kid size. Yo, if these are bigger, you know I'd be rocking these. Another pair of LeBron's, some Air Max 95's, but all these are kid sec in the kid section. Red Hirachi's, more KD's. More LeBrons. A pair of True Flights. Really, really fake looking Columbia jersey. All the usual finds of the jersey section. We got RG3. RG3. Ray Rice. Really subtle with that all over sleigh print and a small little diarrhea stain right there. <laughs> Forever 21, size small. Jason Campbell for $4.99, but it looks like this thing barely survived the house fire. Nice little scoop on that all over print champion for four bucks. Peep the cart, full air Jordans. 249 on the GTA 5 t shirt. This giant Obama print t shirt for four bucks. I never heard of this brand, but this t shirt is awesome. Paris on the bottom, it's new with tags. Retro style Tabasco t shirt. And this Jamaica shirt is pretty cool too. Jack Daniels for only a, a buck fifty. No way. I kid you not. This is the exact same shirt that I picked up at the flea market yesterday. Sold this morning. And there it is. Another one. $2.99 at 25% off. It's got our mystery Harley Davidson man on the front, Chicago on the back. Definite cop. And then I might go ahead and grab this OK t-shirt just because it's a size 2XL. Maybe I'll rock this to the gym or something, I don't know. Really clean diamond supply shirt. 
I know these usually sell pretty quick. You know, maybe I should actually grab this because I do drive for DoorDash sometimes and it's in my size. Yes, this is so cool. Nautica all embroidered on the front, patchwork on the chest, got another patch on the sleeve. Nautica on the tag, size 2XL. Flip it around. Dope striping all the way down the back. This is a grab. Poplar got some Barclays. Yeah. What size? 13. They're pretty. Oh, no, they're going nice on eBay. Yeah, they're in pretty good condition. How much? Yeah. 10 bucks. Snag. Yeah. In the kids section, we got a Drew Gooden jersey with some questionable stains right here. And then for like $5.49, we got this vintage Nike windbreaker. It looks a little bit small, but I might be able to squeeze into it. Little Katie Amari Stoudemire. Look at that. Another pair of Barclays. What size? Eight and a half. And another pair of sixes. I don't know what the hell this colorway is though. Only $1.99 on this Falcons hat too. Bro, how are you holding up with this cart? It's so heavy. You go to the gym or something? You work out? <laughs> Bag secure. Bag secure. One more stop? Yeah, last one. Let's get it. So, unfortunately, Papa did have to leave me, but I'm gonna hop into one more store, or maybe two. We'll see, and let's see what they got. Some Air Force Ones, but they're missing the strap. They're 10 bucks, which is actually not bad, but without the strap, I'm gonna leave them. <laughs> Yo, these. Panthers Mitchell and Ness snapback, but it's a little bit dirty. Yo, tell me that's not dried blood. Jesus Christ. So we got two Cowboys jerseys. The first one is Barber, 15 bucks is a little bit taxed, but for only eight bucks is the logo athletic Emmett Emmett Smith. Emmett Emmett Smith! Go! Emmett Smith! Oh! This is a cop. Yes. And then for only eight bucks, we got the number eight Kobe. Lakers jersey, it's a little bit cracked, but definitely good, in decent condition, so I'm gonna take it. We got the USA Olympic polo jacket. 10 bucks, size XL. If we flip and dip on this thing, it's got USA Olympic team on the back. Super clean, definitely a snag. Nike zip up, although it is a little bit expensive at 12. Yes, another heater. The Nike for 10 bucks. Lakers all embroidered, super clean. Double XL by Nike. On the back, Lakers and the logo. A little bit dirty, but I can definitely get that out. This is a grab. And then for eight bucks, an Under Armour UMD football jersey, but I'm already sitting on one of these, so I'm probably gonna leave it. Seven bucks for Eric Decker on the Broncos, but this one's a youth, so that's probably gonna be a pass. And then seven bucks on this Nike V-neck, all embroidered on the logo, XL on the patch, all embroidered Eagles jersey, but someone just snatched the logo right off. And then Antoine Randall L, but it's 10 bucks, so that's probably gonna be a pass for me. And then we got a Gilbert Arenas jersey, but it's like unbranded or fake or whatever, so I'm gonna leave it. This thing is sick. We got the melting crayon wax all the way down, seven bucks. This is probably gonna fit me, so I might take it for myself. We got two Nike Essentials, $7.99, $7.99. All right, then we got a little bit of a dead stock Disney, but for seven bucks, this one's probably gonna be a pass, even though this graphic is super cool. Yo, and then the colorful Kooji jacket, but this one's 15, so I guess this store is hip to Kooji. Ooh, okay, we got some Christmassy vibes with the Florida Gators ugly Christmas sweatshirt, five bucks, size large. So I was starting to get worried that we hadn't found any RG3 yet. But here it is. There you go, and there's a the second one. Galaxy print baseball jersey. I would like to take this moment in the vlog to thank those who have served our country in the armed forces. <laughs> And then we got a vintage Columbia jacket, and they're asking $30. I'd be mad, but I've already got so much good stuff today that I can't complain. This Phillies jacket, it's pretty warm. 15 though. So this is a brand that I never even knew of before, but then the YouTuber LA Thrifter Hunter got me hip to it. Mountain Hardware, and it's actually a pretty expensive brand, so for 12 bucks, I can definitely make money on this jacket. Then we got this vintage USA red, white, and blue windbreaker for only seven. University of Maryland jacket, that one's 25, that's nuts. And then I see these around a lot, like the vintage army jackets, but this one's 15. Please be Timberland, please be Timberland, please be Timberland. Damn it. No! Ooh, okay, and then we got that very confused looking orange M&M. 
Only $2.99 on a size XL. That's probably going to be a cop. And then a little vintage Nautica spelled out. Five bucks size large. I don't know if this one's really worth anything though. So I found a Harley Davidson shirt. Unfortunately, someone cut out the tag. So I don't know what size it is. And then I don't know for sure that it's authentic Harley for five bucks. Which sucks, but it's alright. I'll leave this one behind. So I got this Philadelphia Eagles Russell Athletic jersey. Number 88, no name on the back. I don't know who this is. Like, is it some Hall of Fame player or something? It's dirty up on the front, so I don't think I'm gonna grab it. But I'm gonna be mad if I found out this is worth a lot of money later. Vintage champion Georgetown football t-shirt. Yeah, I got a lot of questions about this. The Apple employee t-shirt, all embroidered for six bucks, size large. Vintage number 24 Jeff Gordon shirt, all embroidered patch on the sleeve. Got the patch on the bottom. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. This Paris shirt is cool. I mean, if it was vintage, I'd grab it. Yeah, that's definitely a personal grab. Four bucks, size medium. I got really excited when I saw this all over print sleeve, but that's kind of a disappointment. Seven bucks for this Tommy Bahama t-shirt. On the back, we got the grills. So I thought I saw that big horse somewhere. Now, 13 bucks, and I was a little bit mad about that, but brand new with tags. So this might be worth it. Got this vintage Wrangler Western snap button up shirt for only five bucks. I'll take this one. Yo, this graphic is crazy. Look at all them fishes. Holy shit. Oh, Deutschland. So I think unfortunately I'm gonna have to let the M&M shirt go just cause I've already got so much stuff in the cart and so much in the car. These are heaters. I'd rock if these were my size. And then some little kitty Jordan 6s. 10 bucks. So that store came through to say the least. I spent, I think, like 65 bucks on a lot of stuff. And that's not including all the money I spent earlier. So I'm gonna have to spend hours tonight listing everything. But today was a great day. Um, I was gonna hit one more spot, but I've just collected too much stuff today. And I said I wasn't even gonna thrift. So I'm just gonna go home um, and then I'll break this all down. <sighs> Oh hey, didn't see you there. Come on, let's take a look at what I bought today. I just want to let you know that Pablo, who's no longer with me today, ended up buying that John Deere hat, and he bought that Atlanta Falcons hat that you saw, and then he also bought that pair of Barclays. So, just like always, I'm going to start with the shoes. Today I picked up not one, but two pairs of Jordan 3s. Um, we got the True Blues and then the Sport Blues. Both of these are kind of beat up. Um, there's some scuffing, some drag, a lot of dirt, some paint chipping, especially on the True Blues. But they were like eight or nine bucks each. And a pair of Jordan 3s is a pair of Jordan 3s. You can't really go wrong. Even if I list these as beaters, I can probably get like 35 to 40 bucks for them. So not bad on these two. Moving on to the t-shirts that I picked up today. Oh, by the way, you guys like my shirt? Pretty fire, right? First, I grabbed this Hooters t-shirt. Um, anything Hooters usually sells pretty quickly. Uh, but this one I'm gonna keep just because it's my size and a Hooters shirt is a Hooters shirt. Next, I grabbed the all-over print champion shirt. Um, it was only three bucks, it was 25% off. Champion logo on the front and back. This one's also my size, but I'm probably gonna sell it just because I don't need it. And then I picked up the Diamond Supply shirt. Again, this one was only three bucks. I know Diamond isn't really that popular like it used to be, but it still sells, and I should be able to get you know a decent amount of money for this one. I couldn't leave this Obama shirt behind just because the graphic is awesome. Um, it's got the big head Barack on the front. Uh, nothing on the back, but the colors are super bright. It's a size large, and for, again, three bucks, not bad. I picked up the Oakley t-shirt only because it's a big size, it's a 2XL. Oakley's a decent brand, don't think the shirts are worth that much, but for three bucks I should be able to make some profit on it. Picked up the Nautica shirt just because I really like the floral print on the front and then the color is super bright, definitely a summer shirt for sure. It's a size large, if it was a little smaller I'd keep it, but I'd be happy to let this one go. And then the last shirt I found, I was really surprised to find it, only because I found this exact same shirt at the flea market yesterday. Um, you'll know that if you watch the vlog that I uploaded last night. But it's just got the Chicago skyline on the back, this really cool graphic on the front, and this one's a 2XL, so big Harley stuff always sells really quickly. So moving on, I picked up a whole bunch of jackets. First was like this all over print melting crayon sweatshirt. Um, this one will probably just stay in the personal collection because it fits me, I think it's cool. Give you guys a little bit of a on body footage. Picked up this Mountain Hardware jacket. Um, I thought the purple was dope. I know this brand does sell for an actually a lot of money. Um, this one's in good condition. It's a size medium, although it does sort of look a little bit bigger than that. 
um, and this was definitely a great buy. So this jacket was probably my favorite pickup of the day. Just the color blocking, the bright colors, the pattern on the back, everything about this is awesome. I paid up for it, it was 10 bucks, but I mean, these will sell for more than that. I'll probably price it a little bit high and see how long it takes it to sell. Um, if it was a little bit smaller, I would definitely keep it. Still might keep it, but it's a little bit baggy on me, not terrible, and I don't know, still haven't decided on this jacket yet. And then the last jacket was this really cool polo jacket. It's got the Olympics patch on the front, patch on the sleeve, US Olympics on the back, and this one's a size XL. And I picked up three jersey items today. And first one was Kobe Bryant, number eight. This is a Reebok jersey, which I know is not as good as like a Nike or um, Adidas one or a Mitchell and Ness, but $8, it's still like an original number eight Kobe. So can't go wrong with that. It's a medium. I keep it, but I already have a Kobe jersey, so I don't need it. And then to go along with that Kobe jersey, I picked up the Lakers warm-up. Um, this one is by Nike. Usually when I find these warm-ups, they're really destroyed and like dirty and stained, but this one's in great condition. It's a big size, it's a 2XL. So this one should definitely sell pretty quickly. Pay 10 bucks for it. I'll happily pay 10 bucks for um, a jacket like this, especially when it's got with, like the embroidery on the front. And the third jersey is this Emmett Smith. It's a 2XL by Logo Athletic, so it's like an older vintage jersey. I hate the Cowboys, but you gotta respect Emmett Smith. He's a legend. This one's in great condition and should have no problem getting rid of this one. And then I picked up this like Western style travel print um, shirt. It's by Wrangler. I'm not really a big fan of like Western stuff, but I know a lot of people are. It's got like the snap up buttons on the front, nothing really on the back, but just a cool print, five bucks, and this is an easy flip. And then lastly, this size 2XL Nautica shirt. Um, it's got the big spell out on the front, patch on the front, patch on the sleeve. Nautica sells like moderately well, but it depends on the item. I think this item is cool, so I should have no problem selling it. And for $6.49 plus 25% off, really good buy. So that's it for all the stuff I picked up today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in purchasing any of the items you saw today, click the link in the description. It'll take you to my eBay store. I'd be happy to negotiate on prices. Just shoot me an offer. Otherwise, subscribe because I've got a lot more videos coming. And I will see you all on the next one.